one. Oh, sorry. We have West Region Champions, Cal State San Marcos, and head coach Renee Jimenez. Would you like to introduce your players and then give a statement about the game? Sure. To my left, I have Charity Gallegos, uh, junior point guard. And to my right, I have uh, senior forward Jordan Vasquez. Um, obviously, we are, I think, beyond excited. Um, Billings is tough. Like, we... I mean, we've, I don't think we, as coaches, we've slept the last few nights trying to get the scout right. Um, they present such a tough mismatch with their post play, their ability to shoot the ball, um, you know, and they, they've had an amazing year. And we knew it was going to kind of be one of those grind out games where they, there was going to be no blowing anybody out of the water. You know, I think they uh, were well prepared. I thought they knew us really well. I thought they had a good game plan. Um, coach has been there a long time. He's done a great job um, with Billings. You know, they were in the Elite Eight. I feel like in like maybe 2018, so they are well versed in um, being in, in this environment. Um, you know, so I, I'm proud of our kids. You know, our, our goals were uh, we wanted to hold them under six threes, made threes. Um, we wanted to out rebound them, out rebound them, and we felt like those were the two keys that were going to help us win this game. Um, and we held them to five made threes on ten. I think they took ten threes. Um, and we out rebounded them by three, and we knew that was going to come down to the difference in the game. Um, and these guys were locked in. I mean, we, I think just through our conference tournament and this tournament, um, this is the first time all year where I thought we played five games where there's very little slippage in the game, very few mistakes defensively. Um, and even when they were, it was like they just made a great play. Um, we really didn't have an answer for their post play inside just because they're surrounded with such great shooters. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, these guys really dug in. Um, you know, really trusted their defense, um, rebounded the, the crap out of the ball. Uh, and, I mean, this is, this is kind of, it, it's, it's, um, it's interesting because we, we shot around at Cal Poly Pomona this morning, um, and we started 0-2 there in their tournament this year. So it's kind of surreal to, like, be in that gym being like, oh, my gosh, we thought, like, our season was over when we were 0-2 in November. Um, and so to come kind of full circle and, and everything this group's gone through, just the highs and lows of the season and trying to figure out who are we, what are we going to be about, you know, and the adjustments that they've been able as, as leaders and players to make along the way, um, to watch this come into fruition for them is just um, like it, it's everything you dream of as a coach. You know, it's everything you want for your players, everything you want for your program. Um, I'm just really happy for, for this group of 16. Yeah, and you talked a little about how just – um, this team was so hard to play, and I mean, it seemed like for a while everyone was making every shot in that first quarter. And so, this is for Jordan and Charity. How did you guys handle the pressure of like knowing it would come down to the wire like it did today? Um, I think we just had like a good scout, and like we were prepared coming to this game. So we just know like if we follow our scout and follow our rules, like we're gonna succeed. So I think that's what it came down to. Yeah, if we could limit those three-point shots, um, our coaches always prepare us very well for these games. So. Um, we felt prepared, and if we followed our scout, then, then we, we could get the job done. Yeah, and this is for you, Coach. Truett had a big game with some pretty big shots towards the end of that game, and she did really well guarding down low. So what would you like to say about her uh, performance this tournament, and how have you seen her grow? It, it, nobody surprises me anymore on our mm -hmm. team. You know, like I, I would tell you early on, you're like, ooh, so-and-so had a big game. Ooh, this kid. It's like all we've done for the last five games is other people have stepped up. Like these guys, these two are going to do what they do. Um, but to, to have players like True and Mina and Ava and Fitz and people off the bench come in, um, Deanna Buckner came in and played huge, huge defensive minutes the other night. Like to constant to like consistently have other guys step up is huge. You have to this time of year, um, you know. So if you ask me like, oh, who's going to be like the guy that I couldn't tell you. Um, I know what I'm going to get from Jordan. I know what I'm going to get from C. I know what I'm going to get from Mina on the defensive end and her energy. Um, and after that, like, it's kind of, it's a toss-up, um, you know, and, and I think we're, we're to a point now where teams have to decide what they want to take away. Um, so you're going to key in on Jordan, you're going to key in on Charity, and the other guys have to step up. So to watch True just come in and, like, make some, I don't know if she's made four jumpers all year <laughs> like that. So to watch her shoot them so confidently and watch her work that she does in the gym, um, you know, be, be shown out here to everybody. Uh, it, it's, I'm really happy for True. Uh, I'm really proud of her for her growth this year. And Jordan, um, player of the West Regional Tournament, just talk a little bit about your weekend and what this not only means to yourself, but to the university as, as a whole as well. You're not only taking about that, that honors, but that trophy to your, to your left. Yeah, it's great. I mean, this is something we've been working towards for three years now, like each and every year. 
we've gotten closer and closer and closer. And Coach has mentioned that she's built this team um, and went out and recruited great, great teammates. Um, we work hard like every single practice and, and uh, we just have kept working and, and this is the outcome. So we're super excited yeah. about it. It's really cool. It's cool. It's, it's last year's team um, to be so close. Um, I think these guys have really good relationships with those seniors from last year. Um, and I think we all kind of felt this like redemption that we needed, not just for ourselves, but for those four seniors. Um, you know, Dinah Buckner, Kelsey Forrester, Shasta Parker, and Kate Carlson put a lot into our program. Um, and even the teams before that, that got to a regional. But for that group to like be so close in that Sweet 16 game, um, you know, I, I think they were equally as happy as out there. And I think these guys are happy for them that there's a little bit of it. You know, they're going, we're going to see you in Missouri. You know, and that's kind of, they're, they're such a part of it still. Um, and, and we have, it's, you know, like I said, a few years ago, you know, five, six, seven years ago, we were NAI. Um, and now here we are going to an Elite Eight. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a big deal for not just our program, but our university. And we're excited to get there and represent Cal State San Marcos. And Charity, for yourself, you started the game off really hot again. And we've seen you in those moments this past weekend and then try to turn into that facilitator like we talked about. But you just continued on and just really quickly talk about your performance. And then I'm curious on how excited you are for Ava for knocking down those two final free throws as well. But you finished tonight with 22. Yeah, I think it just comes down to like trusting my teammates and believing in them. And those shots by Ava was like so clutch. I'm so proud of her. Um, <laughs> And yeah, she just stepped up and knocked him down. So, 19 assists on the weekend here. Crazy. Yeah, crazy weekend. Maybe three turnovers, maybe two. Either way, it's big time. Big time. You have a lot of senior leadership on this team, and a lot of upperclassmen who have had the experience in this tournament. So, how do you feel like that led you with more confidence in this tournament and seeing them kind of thrive in those roles? We've had. I mean, these guys have all been here. Um, even Mina. You know, she transferred in from Cal State East Bay. She had been in a regional championship game before. Was in what? She this is her third regional championship game. Um, True's been was to, went to an Elite Eight as a freshman. True, Riley has. Um, so this is this is an experienced group. Um, but I think the biggest thing is the leadership. Like everybody was so calm tonight, mm -hmm. um, and I think that was a big piece. You know, we talked. I remember going into the regional championship game last year and being like, look, like. Everyone just need, needs to do what they did really well all year. And we went into that game and, like, everyone tried to do their own thing. Um, and Because it, it was our first time there. We hadn't experienced it. And I felt like tonight, you know, we said the same thing. The last thing I said to them leaving the locker room was, like, just do what you do really well. Like, do what you've been doing all year. No one needs to be anything more. Um, and I think they stuck to that the entire game. Um, and so I think I'm really proud of this group. I, I think you saw when the moment got really big, they were really calm. Um, and, and that just goes to show like their growth as leaders from last year to this year um, and just being tested every game this season, you know, being coming in as like, you know, the conference champion, you're getting everybody's best game. So all of our games are close. So to be able to finish games and come in and be able to like lock into what the plan is, um, there's just a lot of growth emotionally for this group. Um, you know, we have very, I would say emotional players on our team. You know, the highs are really high, the lows are really low, the world is ending, things are crashing down. Um, and to see their growth emotionally as, as teammates um, and as leaders for our seniors and our captains like Charity um, and Nat Nicolosi, Katie Fitzgerald, those guys, like just the calmness that they had tonight, um, there was never a doubt in my mind that they were, they were gonna get the job done in that last, those last few seconds. Uh, Coach, going into this regional, or sorry, Elite Eight, um, you're facing teams that you've never really faced before or ever. How are you guys going to try to like, um, learn from them? Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is a, obviously it's a new experience, you know, even for me. You know, last year was my first time in a Sweet 16. Um, this is our first time as a staff in an Elite Eight. Um, I, I'm going to assume, I haven't seen the score tonight, but I'm going to assume some of those teams have been there before. Um, and it's going to, we're going to have to stay in that same thing. It's like, you know, we're, we have to stay the course of like, here's the plan. We, it's just another game. We have to go out and execute it. We can't let the moment be too big for us. Um, I, I will put our scout up against anybody in the country. Um, I know how our coaches work, you know, Coach Dario and CT um, and Martin. I know the grind that they put in every day. Um, and I know that we have, a t we have teams where we feel like we go out every night. And I, I think these guys would echo that is that we feel like as players, they are the most prepared team on the floor, that there's nothing they're going to see that we haven't told them. Um, and that's something we've always we've always done. And I think they're seeing, you know, that trust between players and coaches really come into fruition. 
Um, and that's going to be our game plan going in. Like, we're going to get who we get. I know we reseed, um, you know, but we'll have a great scout and we'll be ready to go. Thank you guys so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Congrats.